All right, another two minute tip, this time looking at gravity. My name's James Herzing. I'm a technical consultant here at Autodesk. So defining gravity seems like a pretty simple thing to do, right? Well, it is. All you have to do is really click on a couple buttons, one, two, three, and you're there. So what do we do? We set gravity, we control the direction that it's acting, and we can even put a multiple G load on there. We're going to be looking at a linear static version, but just as a note, if you're using mechanical event simulation, you have to remember that gravity is defined and controlled by a load curve. So let's jump into the software and see how easy it is to define this. All right, so here we are in the software. You can see we have our model already meshed and defined over in the model tree. So we're going to go ahead and apply gravity. We could either go into the analysis parameters by right clicking and editing, or if we go into the setup tab, we can go and click on parameters to enter it, or the obvious one, clicking on the apple, which is gravity. Apple fell on Newton's head, figured out gravity, right? So all you have to do is click this button, set for gravity, boom, whatever units, it puts those values in there for you. Define the direction you want. I'm gonna put a zero there and a minus one here. You can see minus in the y, y direction, gravity's pushing down. And then we click a okay. When we do that, it's going to give us a little pop-up that says, hey, do you want to put a multiplier in the multiplier table? Well, of course we do. That's going to activate gravity. So let's click yes to this, and let's go take a look at where that one was placed. So if we go back into the parameters, we're going to get to our multipliers table. So click on the parameters button, and you can see right under gravity slash acceleration, we now have a one. If we put a 10 on there, we would have 10 times gravity, so a multiple G loading. That's everything there is for applying gravity to a model. Uh, it's a very simple and straightforward thing, but it really makes your analysis that much more accurate. Thanks for joining me. If you do have any questions or any suggestions for more tips that you'd like to see, please feel free to reach out to me at the Sim Squad. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.